Hey, welcome back to Gold Life TV. After a lot of copyright issues we finally releases our Batman vs Superman logo Photoshop mock-up kit. If you are new to this video, I recommend you kindly watch this video, to see at a glance what this mock-up is all about. Let me tell you how to download this mock-up. Firstly you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel. The full version of the mock-up is exclusively for our subscribers. Then visit our website, goldlifetv.com. Or those who are in haste, they can easily click here. Every subscriber wins. Just fill up this form, and the mock-up will be delivered, straight into your email inbox. For those who are watching this video on mobile, they can click subscribe, like this, and go to about and click on every subscriber wins and fill up the form the download link will be sent to your email address don't forget to check the spam folder if you can't see the mail coming back a lot have changed in this season you could visit our YouTube channel header and can see the list of social networks we are now on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus we now also have a website and especially those are interested on how we make the mock-up they can visit us on Behance all links are provided in the description so here is the Batman vs Superman Photoshop logo mock-up you have been waiting and I have been waiting to release for after downloading the mock-up I highly recommend Please install the font, for the ultimate experience. So here is the Batman vs Superman Photoshop logo mockup. Very easily you can see 4 colors. Blue, violet, gray and yellow. The colors are just indicators. For the layers those are marked blue. All you need is to double click on them, and a new window will pop up. Let me show you, advanced feature number 1. So I'm thinking to change the bat logo retaining the Superman logo in its position. I quickly go to, the first layer, bat logo and double click on it. Now you can see a couple of different bat logo. Now you need to choose your favorite logo. Just click on there, I, icon, beside your favorite logo and hide the eye, which was already visible. All is left to do is, click on save. You can see, that within a few clicks, the logo is changed. You could also experiment with making two logo visible at once. It could really make some dramatic results. Go try first, we are on pause. Coming to advanced feature number 2. You can add any face looking from behind the S emblem of Superman. Same technique, just go to this blue layer inside photo, you can see instructions written here, double click. So double click on it. Just quick take a look at this guide layer. Turn it on. See the red strokes over the eyes and lips, these are the areas which will be visible, in the final logo mockup. So here is the new picture. Click Ctrl plus A or CMD and A. Then copy the image, go to edit and copy, and then coming back on this document, and select the demo pick layer, and paste your image over it. To ensure that the guide layer is over your image. Now keeping the image layer selected, click on Ctrl plus T, press Shift and scale the image, as per your requirements. Also if needed, place your cursor to any corner of the image. And rotate the image, so that the eyes and mouth falls under the red color. When you have successfully placed your image, don't forget, to turn off the guide layer. Same thing, go to file and click save. Congratulations, you have successfully changed the image. 
But wait. What if I tell you, that I don't want any image, I want a clean background as the original logo. Just remember this one simple trick, look in the grey layers, and find inside photo. Just turn it off. This eye, which you are turning on and off, is called visibility. Onwards I will say visibility, and you also do remember this word. Feature number 3. This is the most easy one. Go to the blue layer, title text. Double click on it, and you read this. Batman v Superman. You definitely know, what to do in this. For a quick break. Do try our Jurassic World mockup, it's very easy to use, and as same as, which I am going to show you now. And now, click on the red text, I hope you have installed the font, or you might see the texts in a different font. For the sake of my subscribers, I will fight with Superman, so I will write, Gold Life TV, V Superman. And you know the rest. Go to file and click save. And close this document. Like this way, you can change the text, and in the same way, you can change this subtext also. But wait a second, this small lens, I need the shine to be under the word, V. So now what? The purple layers comes in action. You can see center lens, with instructions, move left and right. So in this case, I will first select the move tool, then I will select the layer. Then with the help of cursor keys, I will press right key, to move the lens to the right. The next purple layers also serves the same function, but it moves the text, instead of the lens, which is left for you, to experiment. Over to feature number 4. Changing the bat logo. It's somehow different than what you have seen earlier. In this scenario we will be changing the bat logo, but with a complete different logo. In our previous video we made Burhana fight with Superman. Now I am showing you, how it can be done. Getting bit technical, choose a flat PNG image, preferred black, like this one. Go to select and select all. You can see the marching ants. Now go to edit and click on copy. On this document, double click on the blue bat logo layer. Turn the visibility off, of all the layers. To see the blue guidelines, press Ctrl plus H. Now go to edit and paste the image of the Burhana. Keeping the layer selected, go to edit and then free transform. Now resize the image, like the way, that the flat black portion, is inside the square. This way. Now go to file and click save. Here you can see that the bat logo is changed with the Burhana. Advanced feature number 5. Well this is my favorite. I am promoting this stuff a lot. 15 seconds, in only 15 seconds, is all you need is to make your own logo in Batman vs Superman style. Now for demonstration purposes, I choose Mr. Spidey's logo, to give it a theme of the, B-Man vs S-Man movie. I want only Spidey logo, no Batman, no texts and any other stuff. So just turn the visibility off, of the layers containing texts. Here comes the most useful option. Please focus, as the following thing needs to be understood properly. As now, I want a clean logo with no Superman cut out in between. So here is the trick. In the grey layers, 
you can see two gray layers, only Batman, and Batman vs Superman, which is currently visible. All you need to do, is to swap the visibility. Turn, B-Man vs S-Man layer to off, and turn on, the only B-Man layer. All set, now all you need is 15 seconds to make your own logo in Batman vs Superman style. Watch the time. Select the Spidey's logo, copy it. Double click on the blue bat logo layer. Paste the image. Resize it. Save and close it. And we have done it within 15 seconds. If creatively used, this feature can bring awesome results. Kindly share your creativities with us, on Facebook, Twitter or G+. Ok now it's time for feature number 6. This is the most easy one. You can make your favorite text in the Batman vs Superman style. Same technique. Double click on the blue bat logo layer. Hide the visible layers. Type in your favorite text. I am writing, DC. Then file and save. Now you can see, how easily your texts are also made, in the Man vs Superman style. Note to advanced users of Photoshop, you can see two background layers, one dynamic background and one static background. The dynamic background is the one which reflects the glow, of the shape of the logo, that is made visible. And static background, has a static glow over it, it doesn't reflect the shape. The focus is in the dynamic background, as a S emblem shadow in it, like this, which manually needs to turn off, like this. For general users, you can swap the visibility of the dynamic background to static background, to turn of the shadow. Feature number 7, suppose you simply want, the logo and with transparent background, for instance, to place over any image. You can easily separate out the elements by the following way. Turn the visibility off, of every layer, except for your desired image. Click here, to create a new layer. Press, Alt plus Ctrl, plus Shift, plus E. You can see your image is separated, in a new layer, with a transparent background. Now you can easily copy paste the image over any image. Like, open a new image. Select, all, edit and copy, then go to the new image, and edit, paste. If you want to resize, select the layer and press Ctrl plus T, and to move the image in place, select the move tool. So these are all the features. I hope, I have made those easy to be understood. For any questions, do leave in in the comment. Please, like and share the videos, we have put lot of efforts behind this. And don't forget to subscribe and download this for free. Lastly, one bonus feature, a sweet girl from Canada, Emma Roxy Blake, suggested this. Take a look at this yellow slider, saying brightness control, and instruction given is, the fill slider. Now take a look at this fill slider. The control is simple, just drag the slider to the left to increase, and in right to decrease, the glow. This will help create, the dark and dramatic mood, according to your theme. Thank you to all subscribers of Gold Life TV, for being with us. 
help us serve free by sharing the videos.